welcome back to Shoot Talk. Nice to have you back, Doug, after we've been away for a few weeks. Mm. Out here in the sunshine. Loads of cricket. <laughs> Loads of cricket. What's your average, batting average for the season so far? 102. Impressive, I've got to keep that up. Mm -hmm. Alright, mate, let's rip into it. Last week, Mighty Aslan won brilliantly. He did, and well over the odds. You know, I couldn't believe the money, $14. Uh, I think I backed him at 18 in Australia. Um, super win, and he's into the Dunstan final uh, on Boxing Day. He's going really well. How much did you win from that? Oh, dollar each way, about 2350 Not too bad. Hazard was a very good third. Yeah, he was an excellent third. He's just a stayer that's um, had to sort of start off and get him fresh up over 1400 So he's just a bit out sprinted late, but went really, really well. He's come up super this time. He'll probably also go to the Dunstan final. 1500 metres and then he'll step up over further. Um, this week, Thursday at Alice Lee race two, we have quick preview. Yeah, frustrating because he's a horse ready to win, he's flying, but we just can't get him into races over 1400 metres and further. Uh, just because the, the, the big norms and that running 74 grade. It's a handicapping rating issue, it's a, that New Zealand thoroughbred racing has got to sort out. Um, there's very small open class fields, massive 74 fields, you know. It needs to be sorted out so horses can get a run. Um, so he's running over 1300 today, which is short of his best. Wide draw, rail out 10 metres. Lots of things against him, but he's going well. And he's probably a place chance, I think, today. Um, he certainly, if it was 1400 metres, I'd be telling people to back him to win. Race five is loose cannon. Uh, yeah, going really well. F um, fourth last start has improved for it up to 1400 metres. Barrier seven. A little bit of rain around. Uh, well, it shouldn't be a Problem, Michael McNabb in the saddle. Really nice each way chance. Friday at Taranga, race seven is race seven. We have Darcy Palmer and Ohican. Yeah, uh, both horses, Ohican second up, Darcy Palmer fresh up, both going really well. Darcy Palmer, he's loving the new poly track at Cambridge. He's flying. Ohican was very unlucky last start. Hard to split the two of them, and I think they'll both be right in the finish. Even with their big weights. Saturday at Manawatu. Is that it? Race 8, we have Rock Island Line. Uh, his last run, probably from go, before going out for a spell. Uh, nice enough barrier draw, we we'll pin on, claiming 3 kilos. Been a lot of rain around. It'll dry it a little bit, come back to a slow track. That'll suit him. Uh, the, the 1500 metre suits, and he's right in this race. At Ascot Park. Race 7, we have Aristotle. Uh, yeah, uh, their big day down in Invercargill. Unfortunately, Barrier 18, very unlikely to run. Um, at Terapa, race 1, make time. Horse going really well. He's two thirds his last two starts. Good runs, and he still goes out about 25 to 1. Uh, a little bit of rain around, bit of given the track. Lovely barrier draw. Very good winning chance. And race 5, Campari. Uh, so she's in sort of her last season of racing, so we're targeting black type racing for her. It's a really tough race. She's got in on the minimum of 53 kilos. Her last start run was good. Uh, if the track's in that sort of dead five to slow seven range, um, she's a chance of running really well, but it's a tough field. Moving on to the Gold Coast on Saturday, we have Monafasa. And is that race? No, the, no, we haven't got... Oh, at yeah. the time of filming, the races aren't out yet, but... Mm. She was a really good fourth last start. I think that this race will be slightly weaker. She will go up a little bit in weight. As long as it's a good track and she draws well, I think she's an excellent winning chance. And I'm really looking forward to stepping up over further. Sometimes these European horses can take a, a sort of a couple of pre preparation and a bit to come right. And I think she's just coming right now. So I think she's a really nice each way bet. Now we on to Bear of the Week. Bear of the Week! And this bit of the week is uh, Quinella with Darcy Palmer and Ohican. Yeah, we're going for two go racing horses. I just think uh, Darcy Palmer's coming up super. I think Ohican was very unlucky last start. I think it's a very winnable race with their big weights. Hard to split them. And I think they'll fight out the finish. So we, Quinella, maybe $5 would be nice. And that concludes Tube Talk. Thanks very much, Doug. We'll see everyone next week. Bye. It's Happy Union in front of the 400 from Summer Hay and Reckless. Uh, coming down the outside now, it's Vanderhum. Vanderhum and Golden Black out after the leaders. Vanderhum's moved up now with Golden Black and they're fighting the cup out. 
Vanderham's taken a narrow lead from Golden Black, Reckless and Happy Union. And they are at the 100 to go. It's Vanderham in front in the Melbourne Cup. The Mudlarks got it won. And Vanderham draws away to win a length and a half.